Chapter 2 We're always going to be the useless girl. Always, 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 I repeated to myself as I lay on the ground. Defeated again. You think I'd be used to it by now, but no. It's always going to sting. It's always going to hurt. It's always going to break my heart. Come on, babes. Get up. Adele stood over me like a guardian angel. She knelt down next to me and wiped away my tears. She was my guardian angel. So supportive, even though her best friend was a complete failure. I always wondered why she stuck with me. Why? Why does this always happen? I train from dawn to dusk and I still don't get any better. Duncan is right. I didn't even put up a fight. I... I... Ugh! I cried out. I tried to catch my breath, but it was no use. The tears were out now. When I started, I couldn't stop. My heart ached. Not only did my demons have to remind me that I'm useless, but my everyday life did too. I cried more bitterly now. So did Sasha. We shared this pain, and that made me cry twice as much. Adele pulled me off the ground and placed me on her lap. It was a little funny every time she did that. It was like she was my big sister, since she was way taller than me. It didn't look so weird. It looked like she was comforting her little sister. Shh. It's okay, Nini. Stop crying. It'll get better. She comforted me. I know you see yourself as useless and weak, but you have a heart of a fighter. You're still here, aren't you? You're still fighting, and that's all you need to think about. You say you're weak, but Nini, to me, you're the strongest member of this pack. I started to calm down when I heard that. Adele was so supportive of me. She always said encouraging things, but this time, it was on a whole new level. This time, it gave me more courage than ever. I got up from Adele's lap, dusted my butt, and wiped my tears. I looked at Adele and gave her the biggest smile I had ever given. Adele looked at me in shock. I expect that since I never give off such big smiles. But she deserved one since she gave me more purpose to move on. Now, let's take you to the pack doctor. Your cuts are still bleeding. Adele stood up and wrapped her arm around my shoulder. I looked at my arms and saw the blood dripping. I shook my head and remembered how bad it felt when I got them. I didn't heal from bruises as fast as the other wolves, but the pain did fade easier for me. That was one thing that I had that the others don't. The only thing. But he doesn't like me, I protested as we walked out of the grounds. Sure he does. He just hides it, Adele giggled. <laughs>